2021 sees the WRC's return to Estonia for the second time in as many years. Rallying has become something of a national obsession in this small nation, thanks in no small part to the success of one man, Oit Tanak. He is a superstar in his native country and, after a challenging start to 2021, he's looking to get his year back on track with the home advantage. So, let's look back at the evolution of one of Estonia's favourite sons, from fresh-faced SWRC debutante to bona fide WRC heavyweight. After dipping his toe in the WRC in the previous two seasons, it was in 2011 at Rally Mexico that a 23-year-old Oit Tanak first scored his first ever championship points in an SWRC class fiesta. He backed this up in Sardinia where he turned heads with an impressive performance that resulted in his first class win. As the season progressed, his performances continued to demand attention and were rewarded with a debut in a Team M Sport WRC spec for Fiesta at 2011's Rally GB. He'd clearly excited M Sport's Malcolm Wilson because the following year he was announced as a full-time factory driver. But it would be a rude awakening for the Estonian. He struggled with consistency and was dropped by M Sport the following year. After a couple of years out of the spotlight, Tanak returned to M Sport in 2015 where he added more stage wins to his CV and took a podium in Poland. He also endured one of the WRC's most famous and heart-in-mouth moments. Massive testament to the M Sport team for getting that car fixed and back out onto the stages. 2017 saw a more mature Tanak. Despite drama on the final day, he notched up his first ever WRC win in Sardinia. He repeated that feat in Germany, where Tanak handled a high-speed tarmac flawlessly and he would end the season strong, finishing third in the championship. Thank you, Malcolm. Thank you, Emsport. Uh... It's tough to leave, but that's right. A team change to Toyota in 2018 signaled the start of Tanak being talked about as a serious title contender. He began the season well and got better as the year progressed, winning four rounds and elbowing his way into a fight with Auger and Neuville for the championship. But it wasn't to be. Poor performances in the last three events meant Tanak ended the season in third. His second year with Toyota was where it all came together. Another strong start to the season meant, after winning in Sweden, that he led the point standings for the first time in his career. Broken power steering on the last stage in Sardinia put paid to what looked like certain victory, but that just made him more determined. He would win a further five rallies in 2019. And by the time Rally Spain wrapped, his championship lead was insurmountable, confirming his first ever driver's championship. Oit Tanak, world champion. 2020, and somewhat surprisingly, it was announced that Tanak would be defending his title in a Hyundai. But his title defense got off to a disastrous start with this terrifying off at the season opener in Monte Carlo. Remarkably, both he and co-driver Martin Yaviar walked away uninjured. He dusted himself off with two second place finishes in Sweden and Mexico and, after a Covid-enforced break, he won his first event of the year at the inaugural Rally Estonia. He looked to be back on track in the title race, but a steering issue resulted in retirement in Turkey and suspension problems plagued his rally Sardinia. In 2021, Tanak has driven well, there's been no problem there. But the Hyundai has been plagued with mechanical issues, meaning he currently lies fourth, 64 points adrift of championship leader Sebastian Ogier. Will he make a roaring return to form in his native Estonia? All will be revealed. 
Watch WRC Plus on all devices. WRC Plus, all live.